What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former, retired, legendary, Hall of Fame, iconic superstar, Puerto Rican boxer, Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto finished his career with a record of 41 wins, 6 losses, no draws, 33 big wins by way of knockout. Twice in his career, he was knocked out. Uh, he stood at five foot seven with a sixty-seven inch arm reach. With that said, Canelo Alvarez, uh, four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who currently is the undisputed reigning super middleweight world champion, widely considered to be the face of the sport of boxing, top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, with a record of fifty-seven wins, two losses, two draws, thirty-nine big wins by way of knockout. He is 31 years of age, 5'8", with a 70-inch arm reach, came up in a recent conversation at the World Boxing Council's uh, meetings they have in Mexico. Canelo Alvarez, obviously, is the biggest commodity coming out of Mexico currently as it stands, and Puerto Rican superstar boxer Miguel Cotto was asked about Canelo Alvarez, his thoughts on Canelo Alvarez. They fought Back in November of 2015, and Canelo Alvarez, he won a unanimous decision uh, when they fought for the WBC title, the Diamond title, and the uh, the WBC Super title. Okay, and uh, Canelo Alvarez he beat Miguel Cotto, and Miguel Cotto he responded by saying, "Canelo Alvarez, he don't think much about Canelo Alvarez, and Canelo Alvarez is just simply another fighter." Okay. Uh, then he was asked about Canelo Alvarez's loss. He says uh, it's not surprising. Again, Canelo Alvarez is just another fighter. And he was then asked about Canelo Alvarez's upcoming trilogy showdown with two-time unified middleweight world champion superstar boxer Gennady Triple G Golovkin in September. And he said two guys are going to put on a, a, a entertaining fight. And uh, he didn't weigh in on Canelo Alvarez losing much to uh, undefeated WBA light heavyweight world champion Russian superstar boxer Dmitry Bevel, in which he just simply stated he's not surprised, okay? He said that Canelo Alvarez is just another boxer. Uh, he don't view Canelo Alvarez as the face of the sport of boxing or anything special. He's just simply another boxer. Now, uh, many people view Miguel Cotto as a diva. Many people view Canelo Alvarez, uh, you know, um, as a hero. OK, uh, and so especially in Mexico, OK, the fan base in the sport of boxing, they view Canelo Alvarez as a hero. But Miguel Cotto, amongst the Puerto Rican fighters uh, and the Puerto Rican fan base, he's viewed as a hero as well. OK, he has a huge fan base. Uh, and, and Miguel Cotto, he was not happy with his loss to Canelo Alvarez. You know, um, Miguel Cotto, he felt like he won the fight. Now, I watched this fight multiple times and I didn't see any scenario in which I thought Miguel Cotto remotely came close to beating Canelo Alvarez in this fight. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, I would say, you know, people felt like Miguel Cotto was no longer in his prime. Uh, he was actually out of his prime and Miguel Cotto, you know, just wasn't the same guy. He was fighting, you know, a guy who was much bigger than him in Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, uh, he was, you know, he was at a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, but I beg to differ. I don't think that um, Miguel Cotto, you know, uh, even if he was in his prime. Now, I don't think he was in his absolute prime when he fought me, uh, Canelo Alvarez. I do think he was past his prime. Um, but my thing is this. I don't feel like Miguel Cotto, if he was in his absolute prime, the apex of his career, that he would have beat Miguel uh, Canelo Alvarez. I just think that Canelo Alvarez's skill set matches up perfect with that of Miguel Cotto, okay? Canelo Alvarez is uh, uh, strong. He's quick. He has quicker hands than Can uh, Miguel Cotto. Uh, he puts combinations together just as good as Miguel Cotto, and he has just as much power as Miguel Cotto. But I think he has quicker hands, okay? I think that, you know, Canelo Alvarez is slightly bigger, okay? He's not much bigger than uh, Miguel Cotto. Now, obviously, he fought at higher weight classes than Miguel Cotto, who fought at 140. Um, but Canelo Alvarez's skill set, is just better than Miguel Cotto. So I just think overall that uh, Canelo Alvarez is just a better fighter 
than Miguel Cotto was. Okay, I think if you put both of the guys in their absolute prime, I think Canelo Alvarez still wins, regardless if uh, the fight turned out the way it turned out. I know people were saying that it was a close fight. It was entertaining. It was competitive. But I thought Canelo Alvarez clearly won the fight. And again, I can't reiterate this enough. If they fought in their absolute primes, I'm still picking uh, Canelo Alvarez to beat Miguel Cotto. Styles make fights, okay? Miguel Cotto, uh, fighters that have a lot of utilized um, movement and uh, foot speed, those are the fighters that give Canelo Alvarez problems. Miguel Cotto, yes, he does utilize the ring. If you take the version of Miguel Cotto prior to him fighting and losing to Antonio Margarito, which many people felt like Margarito cheated in that fight, but even Miguel Cotto before that version before he took that loss, I think that his skill set still favors Canelo Alvarez. Okay, I think Styles make fights, and I still would favor Canelo Alvarez. Now maybe it'd be a little bit more competitive, maybe it'd be a split decision, but he slightly have quicker hands, put his combination together better, and uh, he has just as much power. Okay, so I think that you know uh, his counter punch ability is is going to prove to be the difference if they matched up in their prime. So him saying that Canelo Alvarez is just another fighter, I completely disagree. I think that Canelo Alvarez has proven, you know, now obviously there's some questionable wins and he has some uh, big losses. He lost every round to Floyd Mayweather. He seemingly nearly lost every round to um, Dimitri Bevo in his last fight. But he fought many, many people and he's always in competitive fights, okay, outside of his two losses, okay? So... I do think Canelo Alvarez's accomplishments should be celebrated and applauded. Uh, people will point to Canelo Alvarez failing a, a test, you know, for a banned substance, and they don't want to give him credit. But if that's the case, then you got to look at some of your favorite fighters. Roy Jones, James Tony. you know, uh, many people failed and test positive for banned substance. He's not the first. But they don't they don't remove them from greatness, okay? So I'm not going to remove Canelo Alvarez from greatness. Now, has Canelo Alvarez fought all the fighters that you want to see him fight? No. But he's fought many, many big-name fighters in his career, okay? And you can't take that away from him. Win, lose, or draw. So with that said, I think Canelo Alvarez is an all-time great. I think he's going to be viewed higher in his career uh, than Miguel Cotto. And I think that Miguel Cotto is a diva. I think that he is salty. You know, that he took that loss to uh, Canelo Alvarez. He felt like he won the fight. He always wanted a rematch. Uh, and Canelo Alvarez, he just moved on to bigger and better things after that fight with Miguel Cotto. So, again, I just think that Miguel Cotto in this uh, specific uh, uh, situation, uh, you know, he just maybe he's, you know, he don't see nothing special. He was in the ring. Uh, he shared the ring with him, and he felt like, you know, in his prime, he could have beat Canelo Alvarez. But I just think that it would have been a great fight in the apex of their careers, but I still favor Canelo Alvarez to win the fight. So um, Canelo Alvarez going into a highly, uh, well, a non-highly anticipated trilogy with Can uh, Triple G. He The first fight ended in a draw, which many people thought uh, Gennady Golovkin should have gotten a um, nod. They thought he should have won the fight. Second fight saw Canelo Alvarez the victor, you know, in which many people felt like, that could have been a draw. Or that could have been still in favor of Triple G. And now we're going to get the trilogy match September 17th. But Triple G is not nowhere near the same guy. He showed tons and tons of flaws in his last few fights. And I think that Canelo Alvarez gets a seventh-round stoppage victory over Gennady Golovkin to the body. He's an excellent body puncher, excellent combination puncher. And Gennady Golovkin is nowhere near the same guy he once was at uh, – you know, um, when they fought the first two times. So let's see how everything unfolds and plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Peace. This is Amanda, the real deal, Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.